today I am going to speak about size of space and concept of celestial sphere. How big is the space? That's a big question. But before that, let us understand what is this solar system. Solar system conventionally consists of sun, the head of the family, planets, satellites, asteroids and comets. Planets are the large objects orbiting the sun. Satellites are the objects of varying size orbiting the planet. Asteroids are small dense objects orbiting the sun and comets are small icy objects with large elliptical orbits. A uh, solar system would appear something like this. Say, here is the sun. The closest planet is Mercury. Then we have Venus. Then we have orbit of Earth. And then we have Jupiter and then we have Saturn. These two planets, Mercury and Venus, have their orbits within the Earth's orbit. I mean, the distance of these planets from Sun is less than Earth's Sun distance. Whereas, when we talk about Saturn, Jupiter and there is one more important planet, that is Mars. These planets are outside the Earth. Then we have Neptune, we have Pluto. Our neighbor planets are Mars and Venus. If you talk about navigational planets, Saturn, Jupiter, Mars and Venus. These four are the navigational planets. Now, talking about the distance, if you consider Earth-Sun distance as a unit, it's called astronomical unit, the distance of Sun to Mercury, Mercury to Sun is 39% and Venus to Sun is 72% of this distance. Jupiter is at 5.2 and Saturn is at 9.5. Now the distances and sidereal periods, sidereal period means how much time a planet would go around the Sun in space by 360 degrees. Now, that period, sidereal period and the distance to Sun is related by Kepler's third law. If we talk about the composition of these planets, the Earth, Venus and Mars are, you can say, are terrestrial planets. Size-wise, the diameter of Mars is just 53% of Earth's diameter. Jupiter is 11 times and Saturn is 9 times if we talk about the diameter. The comparison of uh, some of these planets with Earth and Sun is a bit interesting. I would uh, try to show you. Suppose this is the Sun. I can show Earth over here so that I can show Jupiter over here. And I can show Saturn over here. Now, if the mass of Earth is W, then the mass of Earth is W, then Sun's mass should be 332,800 W. Saturn should be 95 W. And Jupiter should be 318 W. So, that is a comparison of the masses. Earth is W, Saturn 95 times, Jupiter 318 times and Sun 332,800 times heavier than the Earth. As I told you earlier, this distance is, Jupiter to Sun's distance is 5.2 times the Earth's Sun distance and over here it is 9.5 times the Earth's Sun distance. If I want to fill up the volume of Saturn 
by earth I will need 764 Earths to fit in and if I want to fill up the Jupiter by the Earth I will need 1300 Earths and if I want to fill up the Sun's volume with the Earth I will need 13 lakh Earths so how big is the Sun? Sun is just a tiny star and how many stars are there in the universe? It is beyond anybody's imagination. Now, on a clear night, we see a, a, a stretch of stars you know, across the sky. That is our home galaxy called Milky Way. Milky Way is just one of the galaxies. It is estimated that it has got something like 250 billion stars. I don't know how many zeros that is. 250 billion stars. And what is the size of Milky Way? The radius is 52,800 light years. That means if the light has to travel from one side, one end to other end of Milky Way, it will take more than one lakh years. And what is this light year? Light travels at a speed of 1 lakh 56,000 miles per second or 3 lakh kilometers per second. So how much? distance would be covered in one year that is something like 9.4 into 10 raised to 12 kilometers or it is something like 6 million miles sun is just a tiny star and the next star in line is proxima centauri 4.3 light years away from us now when i say milky way is just one of the galaxies and it is not true to say that this galaxy is fixed in the space the stars have their own movement stars are also progressively moving in a particular direction it is about 30 degrees north and 100 degrees SHA approximately in the direction of Hercules likewise other galaxies are also in the process of moving progressively how many galaxies are there? Well, with the best estimation, approximately 100 billion galaxies are there in the space. Human brain may be one of the best things made by God, but beyond a certain point, it stops thinking. The imagination stops. You cannot imagine the size of space. How big is the space? The largest galaxy apparently is the central galaxy of Abel 2029 galaxy cluster diameter is 60 times that means 60 lakh light years 